from here this space looks quite narrow. We have now decided on a final design for the doghouse. So we decided for a pink interior. Now we're just gonna cut out the windows and then we're done. Now we have removed the, the spray hood and uh, uh, let's see if we can get smarter in how we want to design this uh, doggy house and how how low we can go without it being uh, too much in the way. This space looks quite narrow. I mean, it looks like you gotta be. <laughs> but if we were remove this part, it, it would be way easier to get in and out, yeah. let's say. Then it's like more than 10 centimeters extra. You really don't want it to be too much aft of this either, I would say, when you go out and it's so narrow when you go no, out. No, no, no. I mean, that's what we want as well. You want this area to be very protected. I mean, the more you tilt this forward, yeah. the less protection you'll get there. And we cannot tilt it as forward as much, uh, because since we're gonna have the main sheet on the roof here, it has to... that sets the design a lot. I'm not sure if you want to tilt it back really, because that will just give it... I think it will give it a weird look. Okay, so we have kicked off the project with, uh, with the doghouse to our boat. Uh, we have started to do some different designs in CAD to try to see how it fits the boat. So what we basically be doing, we've been drawing different designs, looking at other designs that we find online and then we try to scale it and overlay it on, a, on the pic pictures that we have of the boat, of the sailboat. Unfortunately, we don't have the full sailboat in in CAD then we don't, most likely we're not going to try to either scan it or draw it because it will take too much time. Uh, but we've come to a point where we kind of need to actually build a model of what we have been drawing in the CAD to put it on the boat and try to see how it, how it looks like. And I would say the biggest problem we have is that we, from a visual point of view, you want to build it as slow as possible to make it fit the boats and fit the lines of the boat and not protrude, protrude too much out of the boat. Uh, but from a, a practical point of view, as our uh, cockpit floor is quite high up, we, we we need a minimum height of it to actually be able to to move in the cockpit. So, yeah, it's it's a bit in a conflict there. That's why we need to try to build something and then put it on the boat and and in real life look at it and see see how it looks like. So that's what I'm gonna start with today. Okay, so now we have uh, the model built and also now taken apart and we just uh, arrived to the boat so we could uh, test and see how it looks on the boat. We are a little bit concerned that it might be too high and uh, look a bit weird but yeah, we feel like we have to test something so we know uh, which direction to go more or less. Are we tearing off? <laughs> down the old uh, dodger we're not gonna remove the windows uh, right now just removing these uh, bars now so uh, they're not uh, gonna be so they're not in the way um, when we're testing So we decided for a pink interior and uh, now we're just going to cut out the windows and then we're done. Great. <laughs> no. No, this no. is just a mock-up <laughs> of some scrap wood that we found. But uh, I don't know what I think yet. I mean, it's huge in some way, but at the same time, it kind of has to be this big. At least, I mean, the, 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 
the limiting factor in height here is basically the height in between here, so it's still in some way comfortable to get in and out of the boat. Yeah, we're gonna do the final mounting of the roof and then we'll see how it looks like. From outside. Mm -hmm. Moment of truth. very difficult to say because this is just a very badly shaped box still so it looks still kind of weird um, the height is still a thing I still feel that it didn't look as bad as I thought it could look it's still because it's a big boat I think it's a very good decision that we made the, the roof uh, a little bit rounded that would also give it more head space in the point where it actually matters to have headspace. Now we're gonna try to uh, remove some material and make it lower and see how uh, it will probably look better but also see how it uh, if it works inside. It's really cold. Yeah. So now we have uh, cut it down around uh, 10 centimeters from uh, first draft, and we think it looks way better. Like visually, it it, it isn't as uh, high as it was before. Makes but sense. it is a little, <laughs> of course. But it is a little bit more of a compromise. Uh, like you're getting in out, you walking in and out. Now we have the support here, which won't be here later on, but it's... You're forced to go backwards, make it safer. Yeah, maybe. I think, I think we're, we're hitting the compromise where it's, it's working, but it's maybe... Annoying? A bit annoying, which makes us... I mean, then we can just remove this part. We were actually discussing about... In the long run, maybe even remove... So we have the, the cockpit floor all the way here yeah. uh, and, and, and rebuild the interior a bit for that. So I think it's a good compromise. Yeah. Now, now it will be a little bit annoying for a while until we remove parts, but we are young still, so we are able to have it a little bit more uncomfortable. Yeah. And then uh, we'll just adjust in time. We're gonna continue working a little bit on details on the design to make it look uh, as smooth as possible. We are thinking things with the windows. Yeah, I think in the, in the CAD design that we've been using, uh, we're, that we've been having so far, we have quite... We use more or less the whole area for windows on the side, but I think it, that makes it look a bit higher as well. If we use... Uh, make the windows a bit less high and, and thinner, I think the whole construction will look lower as well. Uh, and then we're gonna play around a bit with the roof as well. Now we have the roof uh, shooting out like 10 centimeters on the side. We're not sure if we're gonna keep that or not, but I think we're gonna keep it and maybe make a, a small edge that goes down well as well, which might also make it look a bit lower and compact the whole yeah. structure. But yeah, as I said, this is probably we cannot go lower, right? With this, right? No, no, it, no. It will... Then it won't work. That will no. be too much of a. We have to be struggle. able to handle the winches. Yeah. Also, it's a. 
determining factor here. But it really helped to go here and have this mock-up. Yeah. The beautiful pink one. <laughs> to really uh, see it on the boat actually and feel. Yeah, and now we can start to think a bit more about the actual building phase and the structural part of this. As we're gonna incorporate the, the main sheet on top of this, it's gonna be quite... It has to be strong. Yeah, it has to be strong. It's gonna be quite challenging that, but um, yeah, that's gonna be fun as well. Let's see which which way we go there. Mm. So after some uh, some uh, testing, we have now decided on a final design for the doghouse. We have also started with uh, with integrating the main sheet uh, arc beam thingy, whatever you call it. <laughs> As the plan is to move the connection point of the main sheet up to the to the roof of the of the doghouse. Uh, obviously, we need some quite some uh, quite some structural part to uh, to be able to manage that. Uh, we're quite happy with that design. Uh, we're gonna do some quick uh, FEM analysis of it, just to get an idea of potentially where the weak spots are and if we are in the ballpark wise in the right uh, order of magnitude in our dimensioning. Uh, but obviously, it's also very difficult because it's it's. It's very hard to know exactly what what loads we are dimensioning for. So in the end, there will be quite a lot of, uh, or we will quite have quite a lot of safety margin basically. Yeah. In the design. So we have a first idea of how the how the cross section should should look like of the of the main sheet uh, beam, and uh, and that we will do some FEM analysis of to see, yeah, potentially where the where the weak spots are in it. And also the the beam itself will be sort of it will be. Uh, incorporated with the doghouse but the idea here is that the beam alone should take the load for the main sheets and maybe it, it isn't the entire doghouse that will take that load it, it is the beam and then they are glued together in some way <laughs> in the end but yeah so visually it will look like one part but, yeah but, but structurally they will be separated and actually we're, we're, we haven't really decided yet on material uh, but it's leaning quite a lot towards that we're going to build the actual beam in uh, carbon fiber laminate uh, sandwich structure and then the actual uh, rest the rest of the dog, the dog house will be a, a, a grp sandwich uh, structure okay so to get some more confidence in the structural part of the design got some help uh, setting up this uh, family model of the beam so this is just just the beam taking the, the rest of the dog house out of the equation and here we are testing a setup where we have a, a carbon fiber structure with, with a foam core inside. And, uh, and here the layup is uh, six layers, or eight, sorry, eight layers of uh, unidirectional 600 gram carbon fiber in the skin. So unidirectional fiber means that it's not a woven fiber, Every, all the fibers are in the same direction. And the reason for that is that, that the main load of this beam will be in, in the direction of the beam. Obviously we will have cloth with fibers in other directions as well, but they are not really part of the simulation here. So here you see a sweep of a, of a load from 0 to 100 kilonewtons. And to the left you see the displacement of the beam. And to the right you see the stress level in the, in the beam. So here we are applying a load of uh, 100 kilonewton or 10,000 kilos uh, distributed at the recess of in the middle of the beam where we're gonna attach the where we're gonna have the attachment points of the main sheet. So at 100 kilonewtons, you can see that we have a displacement of 11.8 millimeters, and to the right you can see the stress levels at that load. And uh, we're not really reaching or we're touching 200 megapascals at this load, which still should not fail actually for this material. But uh, but we are quite quite high on load at that point. But on the other hand. 100 kilonewton is probably way way higher than what we actually see uh, or I mean our, our, our sheets and a lot of other uh, attachment points will fail way before that. This is a pure vertical load simulating a really a closed hull scenario with a really in, cheated in mainsail. Uh, obviously there are other load cases for example when you are have the boom quite far out uh, or, or an accidental jibe for example uh, which will have potentially quite a high impact load. Our way to prevent that is that we're gonna have a boom break on the boom and of course that one can fail as well so we still need to be able to withstand that kind of load but in that load direction we are it's even more difficult to, to simulate the load and it, uh, we will uh, have a bigger 
affect of the rest of the structural part of the doghouse as well, taking up that load. I think I think we will stick with with this, uh, and I'm quite happy with it. At a more reasonable load of uh, 20 kilonewtons, we just have a displacement of 1.8 millimeters, which which I mean it feels really sturdy and rigid. You will not see really, or it, it won't visually bend, so you see it. There are some local stress in the in the recess where we will have the attachment, and that that's mainly here because we haven't really had the correct chamfers in the model here that we will use in in real life. But it's also a good indicator of where we where we should have some extra reinforcement. Next step on this will be to uh, start building the mold for uh, the doghouse. Yeah, that's gonna be super exciting. We'll do it as a... We'll probably laminate it a bit in, in pieces, starting with the roof, upside down, and then we're gonna build the beam into that part, kind of, and then probably the, the, like the walls of the doghouse. But more on that later, I guess. Yes.